right. Today I'm going to talk about last minute bookings. Um, sometimes you'll get somebody that needs an emergency booking, somebody to watch their dog because of a last minute emergency or I guess our normal normal border or sitter isn't available. So you'll get requests um, to watch their dog. Now it depends on how close it is to the date, but you always want to do a meet and greet. I always like I always do do those because you have to be able to see the dog you're gonna be watching. Uh, it's always good to know the personality of the dog. Um, it's also important for them to see you f before they spend time with you. It's important for them to see the house. Um, it's just going to make them comfortable when they come back for the stay. So always, always do the meet and greet. Um, if they can't get to your place to see the actual house and yard, you can meet them somewhere, even at their house, just as long as the dog is able to see and meet you that would help them when they come to your house to stay remember the goal is to make the dog as relaxed and happy as he can be when when they stay at your place so I, I never like to skip the meet and greet you have to almost have to insist on that so that's one thing the second thing is like I said the, the dog gets to see you interacting with the owner so there's some trust there even if it's just first meeting you there's they're building up the trust um, they're seeing you interact with the owner talking shaking hands so there's some familiarity there that's starting to be built um, other than that just try to get people to book as far out as they know as soon as they know the dates because uh, you don't like to be scrambling with last minute bookings um, just because of the scheduling issues that you have when you start filling up your schedule. Like I said, uh, doing one at a time leads to those kinds of situations where you have tight bookings, tight deadlines, and the time times within those dates, scheduling the meet and greets. If somebody is at your house, if you already have a guest dog there, you're going to have to schedule around that so always get your scheduling done as soon as possible this is Rufus here he's just relaxing he's a black and tan coon hound and this is one of his favorite things to do just lounge around he's a good boy Rufus Rufus <laughs>